Welcome back to another episode of Cobra Kai Companion, and I am Peter, and today, you guys, another special interview, returning Aiden Minx, who plays Mitch. Hey, Aiden. Hey, how's it going? Not too bad. Hey, man, I, I threw this on for you. Oh, yeah, nice. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, 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 no Respect. problem. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, you know what's funny is that last, oh, gosh, I sometime last fall, before season three came out, you and Khalil came on our channel live, and, and we played like this or that. Yeah, 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 that was fun. <laughs> yeah, so again, that's before season three. So we didn't know that um, spoilers for anyone that hasn't seen season three yet. But uh, you guys kind of reunite there towards the end. Um, did did you and Khalil uh, maybe talk afterwards and be like, oh man, that was because like, we didn't know you guys were gonna you know get back together. Yeah. So, so was was that kind of funny to you? Was it a little weird uh, both being on there and just like, oh man, hopefully we don't spoil anything. Yeah, yeah, kind of, because, like, it's kind of funny, like, af like even after, like, season three dropped and I was doing interviews, like, I, I would get some things mixed up, and, like, I, like, wasn't sure if, like, wait, did people already see that yet, or did we just tape that, like, so <laughs> it's, like, a lot of stuff where it's, like, uh, yeah, haha, just, like, try not to mention it too much, <laughs> but, like, yeah, yeah. It's like it, it was it was just it, it was just like funny but i i think we kept it safe <laughs> no yeah, yeah absolutely yeah. i don't think there was one thing i mean if anything um i know like some of the writers they uh had accidentally spoiled something because it's same thing right they were yeah. in the middle of writing season four and yeah, season three cool. hadn't aired yet and there was a couple <laughs> things that were revealed to us and we're like Ooh, yikes you know we have to remove those from the interviews yeah um <laughs> So yeah, I thought it was funny because like um, this is like a really weird situation we find ourselves in, uh, because, um, like oh gosh, like I know when I spoke with Nate for the very first time, he was mixing up things between season two and three, you know, and so again, like with everything that that has been going on, season three got postponed because of the move from YouTube to Netflix. Yeah. So so everyone's kind of like wait. Uh, what what happened again? Because it's so long ago since yeah, we filmed, yeah. and now you guys are like li literally, you know, in season four. So it's kind of like, wait, was that season three or four? Because I know, you know, like, again, like, like what you're saying is a really weird situation. Yeah, exactly. Um, so what has it been like for you with the the, the fans? Like, um, are yeah, just tell me that. Like, what has it been like with the fans now that it's um. You know, on Netflix, uh, congratulations on you just hit a milestone on Instagram too, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, it was really exciting. Like I like I just hit a uh, hundred thousand followers on nice. Instagram. Like and that, yeah, that was pretty cool. It's like yeah, yeah, the feedback's been like really nice and like all the DMs filled with hey ass basic penis, <laughs> but you know, like I still get those coming all the time. But yeah, it's fun. It's fun. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh, has people like is this or they start to realize that you were such and such from whatever stuff like you know uh what was it is it angus or angus? yeah angus. Angus. yeah so so yeah. him um and like ted or are they kind of recognizing you from other things yeah exactly or like some people will like be like uh out, kind of like showing off they're like i know him i know him as angus from ant farm you you're all just a bunch of fake fans that just know him now <laughs> it's like it's funny you know what I, that sounds like pe people like me like um oh yeah we were fans of cobra kai on youtube but you yeah, have a exactly. netflix yeah like yeah but like that, that yeah like that that's that's just that's respected that's deserved <laughs> exactly so leading up or Okay, yeah, leading up to the release of season three, obviously there was uh, some, you know, there was a teaser, then there was a trailer. Um, I don't know how much uh, attention you pay like to the fandom. Have you, did, uh, what were like some crazy theories that you saw online were like, man, they're not even close or something where you're like, ooh, man, that's pretty darn close. Yeah, yeah, like there, there were like, it was kind of scary, like, because a lot of the theories would like actually be like true or very close to it so we'd be like is, is someone like leaking stuff <laughs> or whatever he's like like yeah someone yeah someone did predict like i feel like they're all gonna join together at the end of season three and i'm like just how how like what what would give you that <laughs> yeah but yeah it, well it's, it's really insane if you see if you see the uh, the trailer and you see johnny and daniel teaming up like in the chop shop i think yeah. you're like oh man they team up and so th those are like pretty good guesses right because there's yeah, some context exactly. to it um i like <laughs> i like the, the the ones where people make theories like ahead of that type of information because that's what i want i i, I want you know some context before i make predictions because then i just can be completely off 
you know, yeah, so yeah, exactly. we're not we're not necessarily like in the business of doing those predictions, but they're fun. They're fun yeah. to do. Like even my dad came up with one. Like uh, I don't know if I said it already, but like basically, uh, he 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 was saying that like oh when um when when Kreese's girlfriend died in the military and they brought him the letter, he was like it, it they wouldn't have brought him that letter if it was like a girlfriend. If it they were married, they would have brought a letter like that. So it and it would have been like from higher ups, like letting him know. So it was like more respectable or whatever or something like that. But he was saying so that letter was probably like a note saying that she was pregnant, and the sergeant just said that to psych him out before the fight. So you like, know, um, I I'm kind of in line with that too, but it, it's 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 interesting because like this show um, is mostly about like you know karate then Johnny yeah. and Daniel and and the teens. There's there's not a whole lot of military until this season, and you get it with Crease. So um, I haven't spoken with like John Josh and Hayden or. Uh, we've only spoken with um, Michael as far as the writers go, but I do wonder what type of like military consultant that they have. Yeah, like uh, you know, on the show to kind of see like what what's a, what, what would be accurate because um, I served like I enlisted in two thousand, so I got out in two thousand ten. Oh. So that's like a fifty year difference, you know. So oh, yeah. <laughs> things are done differently. So um, did your dad serve? No, but uh, okay. my uh, my uncle, he's he's a Marine and stuff. Okay. Well, he, yeah, he was a Marine. Yeah, hey, I was going to say, like, I don't think your dad is, um, I, I'm assuming, but yeah. I don't think your dad would, would, uh, is old, old enough to have been in Vietnam. Yeah. So, yeah. but yeah, things are different and they were in the middle of Vietnam too. So, yeah. you know, things could be different, but. Exactly, yeah. That is a good theory um, because now we're just like, all right, what's going to happen in season four with like the little bit that we've known because there's been like some leaks. And I think that's like the thing too, because the first, the f- the first three seasons was really kept under wraps, like just about everything. Yeah. And now that it's on Netflix, like off the bat, when production started already, we were getting some images and people were like, is that this season? Or is this <clears throat> something else that we haven't seen? So it's really crazy out there. Yeah. Um, all right, so uh, with, with season three in uh, your character, Mitch returning, we also got the return of some some new ca- um, uh, returning cast members, you know, like Joe, Annalisa, uh can you share like meeting them for the first time since uh they weren't in season two and you were not in season one yeah yeah it was kind of cool like because like I don't, it, like it felt like we already knew each other but at the same time we were just meeting because it's like oh we're all on the show together but like now we're actually like in a scene together you know like like i don't think i've actually been in a scene with T- well like yeah i was in the one fight scene with tanner but like mm. it was like sort of like a one like once time thing yeah so like like yeah so like it, it was it was kind of cool getting to see them and like finally get to like work with them and all that so yeah it's yeah cool. <laughs> um so what what is it like to return for your second season and um it's kind of funny because like the first episode like all the kids are returning to school is it just like that it's like it's like camp or the first day of school again kind of see everyone yeah kind of, yeah kind of getting like see, see everyone again and you know like reconnect and all that <laughs> catch so, up um, so with with Mitch, uh, and I, I'd imagine you get like your scenes, the scripts, right? You you kind of get them in advance, or do you get them like right before you start filming? How does that work for yeah. for you we as a usually, guest star? We usually get um, the script like maybe like a couple of days or like a week before, but then like it just keeps like going through changes like as it goes on, like maybe like a simple line change or like a whole scenes rewritten or something like that. So like it'll it'll kind of like flip flop a little bit but like yeah we usually have have like the night before like a whole day to like go over it make sure we got it all good <laughs> mm-hmm. do you keep in touch with some of the guys like um before filming and just kind of go over some of your scenes or anything like that uh we don't really like practice uh scenes and stuff but like dr- like during like hiatus and stuff like when we're not filming uh, we will get to get we'll get together just to hang out and stuff so like that's pretty cool because like some of us are in like different states like mm-hmm. Cleo's in Chicago and sometimes other people will be in different states filming so I'm like we all usually plan a day that we're all going to be in California or somewhere like at the same time and we all like hang out yeah or something <laughs> yeah that's really cool um little actually I don't, I don't know if I ever put this out there but uh we almost met up uh, I don't know if you remember but when I was in California and I went to go see uh, uh, John and Hayden over at Sony. And um, we were initially planning a meetup at the Golf and Stuff 
in, in uh, one, one of the locations and you and Gianni were gonna come. Um, but I haven't been in LA long enough or often enough to know what the traffic is like. And oh, that's yeah. kind of what ruined it because like after I left Sony, like I was, I was running out of time like really fast and I texted your mom like this, this isn't gonna work out. And I think Gianni ended up not being able to make it. So I was like, you know, I didn't want you <laughs> to be like the yeah. only one to show up, uh, yeah, but gotcha. I was trying to get something. Um, I think there were some like group members of ours too that were uh, local that that were, um, you know, excited if, if we were yeah. able to do it, yeah. Yeah, that um, pretty cool. But yeah, yeah. I, the traffic there is just awful. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. Um, you mentioned, uh, you know, how everyone kind of, oh, not everyone, but a lot of people do live in different states. Um, for for your fight sequences, um, can you talk about like your training? Do you is most of your training done in Atlanta, or do you have to do some, you know, at home before you fly over to film? Yeah, like most of the most of our training is done on set, but like most people like take it like upon themselves to like train like on their own time. Like I know, uh, I think I'm pretty sure Mary does karate classes or something like that. Mm -hmm. And um, but uh, I. I was doing uh, kickboxing classes for a while, but now I just have like my own um, punching bag and my speed bag in my garage. So I'm just making sure I'm able to do it every day. And then um, also like th I have all the stretches that the um, fighting, the stunt coordinators taught us. And just like the most important one is like putting our, putting our legs in a V on the wall and just like mm. opening up as wide as we can. And like that just like gets all of our legs, like feeling like butter. So <laughs> yeah, like, uh yeah I, I pretty much just try to like remember all the things that they taught me and try to do it at home but like usually when we're on set um before we actually start set we have like the training room we go in there they just do like a quick little warm-up they'll have a guy come down with like the punching mitts and it's like all right left right uppercut all that down the line with everyone and then we all break into our own groups so like if me and khalil have a fight scene t against each other we'll go in a circle and then fight with our stunt coordinators and like like but like cross so like i'm going with his stunt double and mm. he's going with my stunt double and we're both just going at it and then like uh peyton will be over in her corner doing her nunchucks for the scene that she had coming up like just like going at him like trying to get them all <laughs> yeah right so, um yeah. you know yeah. uh Hiro and janelle were talking about how like if if you guys weren't filming you can always see Peyton like practicing with those. Yeah. Um, and because I, I told her I go, it was I was really <laughs> impressed because I didn't I didn't know she had the skills and they were so good. I was just like, either if, if she didn't have the skills, it might be CGI. So I, I learned uh, that she was constantly practicing with it. So that's that's really cool. Yeah, that yeah, we'd be at the crafty table and she'd just be like, <laughs> <laughs> like, right, like gotta grab something like yeah, any well. accidental <laughs> uh, hits in the head. <laughs> No, no, she she she's pretty she's pretty professional with it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. So the 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 training trailer is it always the same one? Because I've been in one, and I'm just trying to picture like all of you guys in like separate corner practicing. It doesn't. It it, it uh it seems it, a lot smaller though. Yeah, there's kind of like a separate room with um that's kind of like the same size of it. So like. Mm some of us would go in there and some of us like basically just like if we if anyone had something like planned going up next that they had to learn because like <clears throat> we wouldn't just train in there like we would be like practicing it on set even or like hmm. just out in the um driveway so like like not driveway but like you know the in the in the between between the trailers and the actual set right right mm -hmm. yeah so like yeah like in between just like where there's like a bunch of free space like we'll just practice it anywhere we can but yeah, yeah. <laughs> You mentioned kickboxing. Is uh, uh, Mitch and Tori brother and sister? No, <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. Um, just because, like, you know how people love to like find the littlest thing and connect them. Yeah. You know, it's just like, oh, hey, they do both kickboxing. Maybe they're both Silver's kids. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Right. Um, I wish that'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he's so rich. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, can you talk about like the uh, filming the, the 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 laser tag? See, I. I I don't know what else to call it because it's it's like an abandoned yeah. laser tag building. Yeah, so it's like, I guess the scene. Yeah, it's yeah. really cool in there. Like it, it actually is like a laser tag. Like so, it's like a, it's shot like a whole arcade place, and like in the other room, there's like all the like you know there's the race car ones, the um 
Jurassic Park, like Dino Hunter, like they have like all the fun games, like and like anytime we're not filming, like we would just go in there and play. It's like it was kind of <laughs> cool, like you know, just getting to, like yeah, just getting to be a kid, to, like play all the arcade games. They have the key in them, so you don't have to put the coins in. You're just like nonstop, like play, all right, yeah. reset. Like it's just so fun. That just but fun. Uh, yeah, the the laser tag game didn't work. They didn't have the guns with them, but we uh just, like it was still cool, like black lit room where everything was like glowing and stuff. Uh. I think, I and they like, said that. Looks cool, they, but, um, yeah. uh, you know, Janelle said that it wasn't as dark as it looked like on screen. So, because yeah. I, I thought that maybe it'd be challenging, you know, for yeah. as dark as it looked. So, um, yeah, I, I think it's just because like there was like a lot of like black in there, but like and like a lot of like neon looking colors. But uh, it was yeah, it was actually like it was it was pretty well lit in there. Yeah. Um, so for that particular sequence, did you guys do like a table reading for that? Um. Like in what way? Uh, just like I, I, I'm wondering what was your um, reaction to finding out that there's this arm break scene between Hawk and Dimitri? Uh, because when it happened, it was shocking to me. Yeah, like for it kind of, like in the script, it kind of just looked like it was just like another like fight. But then mm. like when we were actually filming it and they were showing like the like seriousness of the arm break and like all of us like chanting him on to do it, like then then it was like oh okay. So like it is kind of, to me it kind of felt like uh part two to the part where he's like you're really gonna hurt me and then right now oh, it's yeah. like that part and it's like <laughs> and just yeah yeah so. I I completely <laughs> forgot about the, yeah um at the mall where yeah <laughs> yeah yeah in the comic book store I think is when mm-hmm. when he says that line um gosh uh so um can you talk about your scene with Joe uh, in the dojo uh, because you you probably saw it all over social media that people are like, oh, Hawk oh, kicking Kyler's ass. Uh, I gotta say it's bullshit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> just, like, all right. He wasn't a non-skilled fighter because he was like, oh, you lost to an untrained fighter. He was a wrestler. He was right. a wrestler, okay? And uh, first of all, I got a point on him in one move. All I did was just <laughs> raise my knee, bop, point, I win. Like, come on like he couldn't have even dodge that really but no all right fine i get kicked out for losing the second round <laughs> yeah but whatever <laughs> right I, I guess people kind of forget that yeah i mean when we see um kyler's return he is in the middle of a match you know crease is specifically looking for strong <laughs> people so yeah uh now the um the first time they do arrive to the dojo you know you greet them with some some uh, yeah. nice <laughs> Uh, was there like some different takes? Did you guys try different lines? Can you uh, share that uh, scene? No, kind of. I think I think it was it, that was like one of those. Uh, it only took like one or two takes, and they're like, "All right, yeah, perfect." So like, oh, okay, it, it was nice, but uh, yeah, it it was it was funny though because like you you, you would you know he thought it was going to go the complete opposite way. He was like, oh yeah, I'm the top dog around here, and I'm going to get to call these guys any any names. And right. then they immediately just shot me down. It's like, what'd you call me? It's like, oh, sorry. It's just a thing we do around here. Nice. Bye. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. I tried a for effort. Um, <laughs> it, it is. Yeah. That's, that's a, a, a nice callback to, to uh, Mitch's introduction um, and a little bit of hazing there. Um, I, got, you, I got to win in all Valley before I can do that. that then they'll take me seriously. <laughs> maybe. I mean, uh, maybe if you just hold your own. Um, <laughs> but who knows? You know, maybe, maybe uh, if, if Kyler fights in all Valley, we don't know how far he'll get. Um, <laughs> so it'll be fun to speculate. But uh, was there, um, gosh, I don't know. Like, we, we haven't talked to too many people that were involved in that very scene with Jacob other than Jacob. Haven't spoken with Bo, but um, can you talk about filming that that brutal beat down and what it was it, what it was like from your perspective? It, yeah, it was really cool. Like, um, yeah, just like that scene, like in the Seahawk, like sort of break in a way, just like get like getting like let it let it all out, like that was like full potential. Mm. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it it was like it it was a it was a really interesting scene. Yeah, yeah, it just. So with um, with Johnny leaving Cobra Kai, so you're spending a lot more time with Marty because he's he's now your sensei. Was it like working with him? Yeah, yeah he was really cool. Um, yeah, it, it was. It it did feel it did feel a little bit more empty in there because you know like it, uh, uh, 
Really? William was kind of like the yeah. you know, life of the party a little bit most of the time. Like he's always like making jokes and like just being friendly and always has that smile. So, you know, <laughs> but it, yeah, it, it's, yeah. He, he, Marty's still really cool. He's very serious and focused. <laughs> what would you say he, I mean, obviously Kreese is a bad dude, but would you say he <laughs> kind of stays in character a little bit? Oh yeah, definitely. Like, yeah, he's, he's he, he always likes to, you know, like make references and like, Oh, always he always likes to keep in character and like you know be our sensei right so, it's cool um the, the there, there's a couple different uh park scenes Did, do you recall if that was filmed like during the same week because it was i think it's episode seven and eight mm -hmm. uh, the first one is when you guys get these like badass shirts yeah and then the second time was like you know just another day of training um was that like uh, different days or same week do you remember anything like that I, f I feel like we had to go back, uh, hmm. but uh, I'm not sure. I just remembered that there was like a, a cool swing set right next to <laughs> it. And, like we would just always go over there and get yelled at because they didn't want us getting hurt. But <laughs> it was it was fun. It's because it was raining, but I get it. You know, whatever. Really? And, uh, Couldn't even tell because it was sunny both days. Yeah. Yeah. They have really good light systems. Now. <laughs> like, it, well, like it was probably like drizzling earlier, just like yeah like it, it was just like wet in those areas so it wasn't raining during the filming but yeah yeah so what do you think of the name eagle fang it's cool it t it, t it took a little bit used to getting uh it took a little bit to get used to but it actually like the more you say it like eagle fang eagle fang eagle fang like it, it's it just it just works more so yeah no <laughs> you're right you, you really do get used to it because like the more i type it on social media and the more i i, I say it it's like yeah. okay you know it is it what it is cool yeah, yeah. Like, eagle fang like <laughs> So what was your reaction when you first read those words or even heard it out loud? Because I don't know which came first. Um, yeah. Can you talk about that? The first time you heard Eagle Fang? I felt like it was a joke in a way. Like, I felt like it was going to get, like, thrown away immediately. But then, like, <laughs> it actually, like, it, it just, it, like, it's, it made it all the way up to here. So, like, it, it's, like, like, it's still going. So, yeah, I guess. I, yeah, I guess Eagle Fang is going to be with us for a while. <laughs> are, you, are you surprised, like, how much love there was for the name after the fact, even though it was made to be a joke? Yeah, yeah, because, like, especially with, like, the whole eagles don't have fangs. Like, <laughs> like, I, like, I, like, the blood dripping down on them and all that stuff. Like, I thought it was just, like, a little gag for a bit, but, like, no, it's, that is Johnny's dojo. It's it's Eagle Fang for life, yeah. <laughs> Were, um, was there already, like, merch made up that people were wearing on set during season three filming i don't think so no like but uh when we came back to start filming like everyone has eagle fang masks now so it's funny yeah because i think they're available on the uh, official site oh yeah 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 so yeah. people are ordering them I, i've seen some um some online matter of fact uh i don't know how long ago the photo was but um uh, contenders shared john's photo with him wearing the mask and also the cover the yeah. cover or whatever um so gosh i i, I that, that's probably one of the, the the last scenes before we get to like the really big one um do you recall how much of your own fighting you did in seasons um two well i guess yeah season two because uh, i i know like in season three it seems like it's uh, a lot of it is you guys but season two yeah. do you remember how much of it was actually you yeah i think like I, I would pretty much do it absolutely whenever I could. Um, just like, I guess, like for anything extreme, like the flips or like, like I feel like uh, when I think it was the Valley Fest or whatever, like when there's like all the smoke effects and stuff, like, right. like it said that we were supposed to be up there, but like, I, like, like I don't know, they, they, they just didn't have me up there. So like, I don't know. But um, um, there was one part, it was you and Khalil, but that might've been like yeah. at the end of the, all yeah, the cool exactly. Like with the uh, kicking the boards, like I think that was the one part where it wasn't us. It's like I could have been up there. Like I don't know, but whatever. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I think it was just that, and like sometimes, like just for safety, like they'll rat they would rather have the um stunt double uh there instead of like instead of two actors fighting each other. So it's like someone who's extremely professional and someone who's professional, <laughs> like mm -hmm. going against each other. So uh, yeah, like. Yeah, like yeah. <laughs> and and how different was season two and three in terms of you uh, doing most of your um, own fighting? It felt like I got to do more of my own stuff in season three, yeah. Just because like um, yeah, yeah, it just felt like that there was like more 
flipping and like other ex- like not extreme like ex- extreme for me mm-hmm. in a way like stuff for in the earlier season so but like i was able to do more of my own fighting in season three it felt like okay um so there's this uh car wash sequence and yeah. <laughs> let me see we've spoken let me see your episode's coming out a little bit later so at this point we've already spoken with owen and nate and they um kind of talked about the, the car wash scene uh now y- your character is there with hawk but you you don't really show up with any other cast members until at the very end with nathaniel um can you share your experience filming that day uh did you get to ride the bikes at all i, I don't no yeah no? I, I wanted to they looked fun but like they just they just had us like sitting on them like in position but um you know they were cool i wanted to keep the helmets because they had like all the <laughs> cover kai gear on them but yeah yeah it, it was a fun day you know it was a nice sunny day we were all just like sitting down um under the thing they brought out like ice cream and uh pickle pops so <laughs> it was oh cool. interesting it's like it's like slushy um pickles like it's weird but it's very hydrating and healthy for you so there you yeah. go <laughs> okay so, so i might have to try that sometime <laughs> now in one scene that you share with Jacob, uh, you guys show up. This is when you guys are about to abduct Nate. Um, and uh, Hawk has to remove his helmet with his hair intact. That was, now, yeah. <laughs> now, um, I, I would imagine there was probably some like planning I had for, for that sequence, right? I, I heard that he had to put like his helmet next to his head yeah. and just kind of like remove it. Is that, uh, can you talk about like, kind of filming that if you guys tried it different ways or was that always the plan that like well he's just going to show up and stand there and just take the helmet off like so yeah like sometimes like underestimate movie magic because like i look at it like there's no way like his mohawk is literally bigger than the helmet but it still looked like he just went pop but like literally was like here and then for the other part it was like just above the spikes and then he like did it up so like i they they did it yeah, somehow I don't it's know. really good editing. It, yeah. it really is. I mean, it's good editing because, like, uh, I asked if you drove a little because I thought that you, Jacob, might have been able just to go like a few feet or something to make it look yeah. like you guys just pulled up. So it, it's it's all in the editing. <laughs> yeah, I wish. You know, but yeah. Um. So what was it like to see Khalil um hop on the top of that? Well, I don't know if it was a jeep or whatever, but uh, to 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 get his nips all up on <laughs> we, on the windshield. We, we, we were all like howling and hooting, like "Whoa, yeah, no!" <laughs> like just we, it was, it was, it was a fun scene. Now, yeah. because of all that, I mean, does he have to? Um, I guess I can ask him uh, eventually, but <laughs> I, I would imagine the hooting and hollering wouldn't make it, right? He'd probably have to do like ADR afterwards yeah. for for that sequence. Yeah, I think. I, or, or, oh, I I think it was like when he was taking it off, like, because like he was like, I could take off my shirt for the scene. <laughs> and we're like, it's up to you. And he's like, all right. And he just like, he's like, he, he loves taking off a shirt whenever he has an excuse. That's what so, I hear. That's what so everyone he, says. Yeah. He, he was just like, <laughs> like all right. And we're all just yeah. like, Woo, take it off. Yeah. Nice. Um, all right. So let's talk about that crazy fight sequence in, in, in the finale. Uh, and you, um, Mitch, and everyone else shows up towards the end of the the ninth episode. Um, now I don't know how much you thought about your particular line. Do you need to sneeze? No, I'm just okay. Nodding a little, sorry. Oh no, no, no all right. Um, but when when you show up, obviously Mitch and Chris are, are they didn't expect each other to be there. But you say something to the effect like, "This isn't a keg party." Did you think much into that line and like who might have told you that to convince you to show up at the Larusso's house for this keg party? Yeah, actually, no. Like, I want like who like how would any of the Miyagi-Dos like convince? Oh, I guess it would be Sholo. It, it would have to be Miguel. I, yeah. I, yeah. Oh, yeah, Miguel. Like, so would have Miguel. Eh, yeah, Miguel would have to be the one to tell us, like, hey, coming over for a keg party. But, like, why none of the other Cobras, like, knew about it? Like, I mean, uh, Miyagi Fang. Uh, uh, <laughs> there you go. Um, yeah. So th- so there's that. You got you got a hat that you bought for the party. Um, I, I yeah. really dig that. Uh, to keep it the rest of the scene just had to right at the top but whatever do you get to keep that i, I know you wanted the <laughs> helmet but uh, oh, yeah. is there some no, things I mean, that you get to keep no i meant like uh for the scene like keep it keep wearing it oh just keep <laughs> i yeah, think that would have been that would have been fantastic like, just uh, let's get out of here like, for, for no reason at all like just, mitch is still, <laughs> still very good 
Uh, yeah, so yeah, talk, talk about the, the the chaoticness that is filming the fight scenes and what challenges do you remember or just uh, kind of just sharing sharing the filming experience. Yeah, it was it it was like I really like filming those ones because it's like really fun to see like like on camera like how because you just see like this massive guy with a camera like running through. And you just see like that happening all around it, and then all right, and Nate and Owen, and you see their faces smear against the window, and like all that, uh, like them get thrown on the tree, and then all like just sw- like all the sweeping and like moving like really quick and like around everything, like it looks so weird. And then like I had I had someone uh, record it on my phone, and I watched it after, and it was just so cool, like seeing all right these people fighting, these people fighting, these people fighting, and him bashing the glass on his head. So it's just so cool. So um, <clears throat> is is like Josh kind of calling out your guys' name as, as like the camera is kind of pivoting like around the house? Yeah, yeah. For like so, for most uh for most of the part, we can kind of see all of our note our all of our um markers coming. Mm. But uh, like for other parts where it's like they were like literally like behind a tree and they're like okay Nate and Owen and then it showed them sm- smearing against the window. But um, and also like most of the stuff that's up in front of the camera, that's all like uh, extremely choreographed and like perfected. But then um, as soon as the camera is like too far away and you're more, <laughs> sorry, as soon as you're more like in the background, um, they said just like go for it like freestyle. So like, it was like uh the, um stunt, the stunt coordinator that I was going up against, um like he was like an actual like stunt professional. So me and him were going up against each other and like we would get close in a part where we're like holding each other and he'd be like, all right, left jab, uppercut, ready? <laughs> just like we would like block it and throw it at each other. And other times we would just like improvise as we're going and he'd be like, you just throw punches and I'll block them, but I'll tell you what punches I'm going to throw and you block them. So like, yeah, I would just throw them and like I accidentally like hit him in the face a couple times, but like we're chilling, we're friends. So, but Yeah. I mean that that's bound to happen when karate is involved. Um, oh, do you do you know the story about like Billy and Ralph uh, in the first movie during the um the the chase with the you know skeleton costume and all that? Oh no, I didn't. At, know at one point, Billy kicks Ralph, oh. and and he falls to the ground like yeah like 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 like, like a legit kick Ooh. like to the stomach. Yeah, so it was just one of those like miscalculations. Yeah. So <laughs> so there's some there's something there. Uh, but yeah, it it's bound to happen. Um what uh in season three there was so i I guess i'm gonna now ask you this from like a a fan standpoint um you know for you to kind of like um now jacob mentioned that he was able he was sent season three like before it actually aired did you also get to see it before everyone else oh no so so you saw it with us yeah i just i watched that midnight yeah um (laughs) so from a fan standpoint like was there anything that surprised you because I, I'd imagine you don't see like every footage. Like what was what was something that you're just like, oh wow, that's that's crazy, uh, in terms of like something that happened, something that stuck out, and something that shocked you. Um, well, like kind of, well, some some sometimes it was like the whole thing where it'd be like, oh, like because like it, it was so long ago, like it was supposed to be on YouTube, and then we had to wait a whole extra year, and then then it finally got put on there. And it's like a lot of it was just stuff that like I forgot. And I was like, oh yeah, that happened. That was so funny. Hey, you're gonna love this scene's coming up. And then um also another thing I thought was funny was like they used like a lot of the PAs and ADs on the show. Right. So like, like Chris. I, like yeah, yeah, like Chris and then, um there's other one but I forgot his name, like he's like a really cool guy. The one that like has the foot Oh in prison. Like, yeah. Put, yeah, in prison. Like so like uh I like I tried to like describe uh this what like i like i would just like tell stories and like describe like interactions with them to like my parents i'd be like oh yeah there's just like one really funny guy named chris like we're homies and stuff and like oh there's this other guy and like he always gets pissed off when people tell him tell him good morning because like because like he'll be like he's like we said good morning yesterday you don't need to say it every day of the week uh it's just like it's like he's a really funny guy just like he's he's just like he just speaks his mind so Uh, i i I don't know who he is but what does he do yeah, uh, he he's a one of the PAs. Like he 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 tells the um background like where to go, what to do. Okay, um, so kind of like, direct really traffic funny. flow. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah, so, like I, I was like we were watching it. And I'm like, oh, that's our PA. He's 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 like really funny. He's the guy who hates being told good morning. <laughs> and then like, yeah. It, so it's funny. <laughs> for those that don't know, uh, Chris is the gentleman that walks out of the stall uh, in the bathroom and sees Johnny with the the doctor's coat on it, and uh, one of our 
um, group members, Jen, she she was rewatching season one and, uh, and noticed him uh, at the tournament as one of the refs. Yeah. And oh, so, he also uh, was uh, at the tattoo parlor when Hawk was getting his tattoo done. Oh, what, what was what was he? He was just sitting um at the cash register or not okay, the cash register, like the little uh, round table top, like the high okay. table. I'm gonna have to go back and watch that because yeah. <laughs> um because like in season three, uh, I I noticed them immediately because I we just interviewed them like last September, but yeah. in the very first episode, uh, Luan and Joe are in the background of the bar where Johnny's talking to uh, Hector and Juan. Uh, yeah, Hector and Juan. I think I think that's their character names. Um, in the very first episode where he's drunk in, in the uh, Apple, well, not Applebee's, but Fran- Frankie yeah. or something. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, 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 it's really funny to kind of like, like you like, uh, recognize people that are sitting in the background that also work for the show. Um, and, and what does Chris do? Oh, uh, Chris is uh, also a PA. So he also okay. like, tells background what to do. And uh, Kenny was the other guy's name. He's like short black okay. hair. Okay. Yeah. So, so Kenny's yeah, the one cool. with the foot. And yeah. Chris is the bathroom guy. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, Michael, who wrote uh, episodes four and nine, I believe, um, he mentioned how he also auditioned for the same character as Chris coming out of the bathroom. <laughs> so that would have been funny to see him oh, too, because funny. we also just spoke with him. So, yeah. Um, now, uh, can you think of, uh, as we get ready to wrap up here, uh, just, just some fun trivia stuff. Uh, is there anything that you can remember, like uh, different takes, um, lines that you tried, like especially the park scene where, you know, like the shirt, was that scripted that way? I, I'd imagine because Billy yeah. throws you like a, sh- like a small shirt. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was funny. They, they like, um, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that's pretty much how we were ex- expecting it to go. Like it was funny, like the whole like, is this feeling snug for anyone? Like, I was, like, kind of, like, pushing it out a little bit more, too, so that way it would, like, rubber band a little bit, where it was, like, <laughs> boing, and it's, like, anyone else feel a little snug? <laughs> like, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I feel, like, there was this one alternate line when he, like, I don't know if I'm allowed to say it, because, like, it is kind of bad, but, like, um, he, what was it? So, it's when it's when he's talking to us, and he's, like, I'm going to call you guys uh, ass face and, um, Penis breath? Penis, yeah, ass, like ass face and penis breath or like whatever it was. Um, taint breath, yeah. Oh. And then um, I and then he he just told the uh the big three had Jacob come over and like they didn't tell like it was an alternate line so like they didn't tell us what it was they had Jacob come over and they were whispering his in his ear and they're like all right so and we're like so we don't know what's going on we thought just like all right he's gonna have another direction like not a line change or whatever so we're, we weren't ready for it and he comes up to us and he goes all right. I'm gonna call you R two D tard and C three piece of shit, and like we just lost it. <laughs> like, that sounds me- familiar. I-, I wonder if you shared that. Um, yeah, may- yeah, maybe. But like, yeah, it was. That's a good one. Like, me and Khalil just like couldn't hold it. We both just went- <laughs> like we just. It was just too funny. Like, it, like unexpected. It just like yeah. People, um, people don't really think, and I'm talking about the fans in particular. Like, people don't think about how how difficult it is when something is so funny and to hold a straight face exactly. like you know b- before me and you uh started recording i was telling you about how that one time i was filming and or hayden was filming for me when i visited visit set and and i couldn't even get down like strike first strike hard no mercy like i, I couldn't do it like a cobra kai you know yeah. i was definitely like uh wait what was the order and did i say it right so um yeah. it's, it's, it's not easy and uh, for anyone that follows me, I, I recently got on TikTok. I don't know what the hell I'm thinking, to be honest with you. <laughs> but um, I got on TikTok and I was kind of going through like Jacob's um, TikToks. I don't know what they're called, man. <laughs> so, but anyway, he, he has this really funny six second clip of like Sholo sleeping and he you know, put just like brushed his hand over Sholo's face. <laughs> so I did a duet where I kind of moved my arm in, you know, kind of like as yeah. if I'm Jacob's hand. <laughs> Yeah. And um, but anyway, I must have done that like six times. And also I couldn't stop laughing while I was doing it because <laughs> even me, I was like, this is kind of funny and silly yeah. at the same time. But anyway, um yeah. I- anything else you could think of uh think of think about from the um the fight sequence at the LaRusso house because there's just so much going on there. Yeah, it was um I don't yeah, just kind of like it was like a lot of like improvised fighting and like it was it, it did take a couple and like it was a really good sweaty workout after but uh yeah yeah it was yeah it was just like a lot it was a lot of work but it was worth it 
Oh yeah, I mean everybody did a, a great job this season. Um, you know, I I loved seeing you uh, your character return. Uh, okay. Mitch had a lot of funny lines, so um, you never know who's gonna get more or less. Uh, I was surprised that we got more uh, of Peyton with her shooting schedule and the things that she was doing, because yeah, I know exactly. <laughs> yeah, Paul Walter Hauser same thing. He was like filming all these things, so um, you know maybe Stingray could have been in season three if he wasn't so damn busy exactly. so yeah for as often as i saw you i was really surprised and and happy you know because i i love to see uh everybody return but it's just like there's just so so many characters and you're just like well who, yeah. who are we gonna give this line to and you know there, I, i'm sure it's challenging in itself to find a balance uh, a, a balance to to giving love to like certain characters um yeah, exactly like one of my surprises like i, I was all like oh man well, Lynn, Lynn, Homeless Lynn, I think she she got about like what she usually gets, but she got one episode. I think season three, no, that, that was season three. Season two, she got one episode and season one, she had like two episodes. But um, yeah, I'm I'm excited. I, 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 I'm definitely don't want to ask like too many more questions because now we might start bleeding in like uh, season four and nothing's been yeah. confirmed. So we don't know if Mitch is exactly back yet, gotcha. but yeah. Um, now, uh, aside from, from the obvious, is there anything else uh, that you are working on that you can talk about or promote that uh, people can maybe keep an eye out for? Uh, nothing. Yeah. Nothing really so far. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Well, congrats on uh, reaching 100,000K on, on Instagram. Um, and we'll look for you, I guess, if uh, if Mitch returns in, in, in season four. Uh, so, Aiden, I want to thank you for returning. Um, yeah, no again, Thanks for having me. <laughs> yeah, congratulations on uh, on a kick-ass uh, season three. Um, do, you, do you have a favorite season two or three, just from, like, the things that you've had to do? I feel like three like yeah it, it, there's like a lot more to do in that one it felt like um, yeah yeah it, it was just it, a lot more funny moments for me it felt like yeah okay all right so everyone probably already follows you and if not we'll be sure to um have your uh contact information in the show notes um and that's gonna do it so i want to thank everybody for tuning in and and we'll catch you guys next time Go.